Hello again, I am Teacher Tom. Let's talk about using the simple present and the present progressive to talk about the future. This happens all the time in English. We don't always say going to or will to talk about the future. For example, my plane leaves at 10 o'clock tonight. So in the future, at 10 o'clock tonight in the future, my plane leaves or my plane is leaving. My plane leaves is the simple present, but here I'm using it to express the future. My plane is leaving is the present progressive. Here I am also expressing the future. In neither case did I use will or going to. I could say my plane will leave at 10 o'clock tonight. Yes. But it's very common to say my plane leaves at 10 o'clock tonight. My plane leaves tonight at 10 o'clock. My plane is leaving at 10 o'clock tonight. Can you see that? We use this all the time in English and it is perfectly correct. It's not even a matter of formal and informal. It is just understood. Usually when we use the simple present or present progressive to express the future, we also have a word in there that is a future word, such as tomorrow, or tomorrow night, or next month. Either we have a word or words like this, or the context is already in the future. For example, my plane leaves tomorrow. Tomorrow is the future word or if the context of the conversation or situation is already talking about the future, here's when we can use certain verbs in the simple present or present progressive to express the future. Now, it's not all verbs that can do this. Actually, only a few verbs. Let's look at some. So here are some examples of words we can use in the simple present or present progressive to express the future. As long as the context of the conversation or the context of the situation is already in the future. Or we use a future word or words like tomorrow, next month, tonight. Leave, arrive, come, Go, begin, start, end, finish, stop, open, close, return, resume. For example, class resumes tomorrow. Class is resuming tomorrow. Do you understand? This is not a complete list of verbs that can be used this way, but these are some of the common verbs. Let's use start. My training starts next month. I can't go on vacation next month. My training is starting. My training is beginning. She goes to school all next week. I'm sorry, she can't go on vacation. We can also make it negative. He doesn't finish school until next month. The store opens next year. The store is opening next year. The store doesn't open until next year. The store 
is not opening until next year. Ah, we've added a new dimension to this. Of course, we could say the store will open next year. The store is going to open next year. But the store opens next year is perfectly correct. The store is opening next year is also perfectly correct. But of course, again, not every verb can be used this way. Only some of them. Here are some of the most common verbs that can be used to express the future in the simple present and present progressive. What else would you like to learn today?